All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at the composite of reflections over two lines. So a composite just means two um, transformations performed together. This is two reflections. So we graphed this. First, we reflected it over x equals negative 3. And then we reflected it over x equals 2. A lot of yours looks different than this because it's in prettier colors because you did it in color pencil. Okay. Um, it is, number four asks you what kind of transformation occurred. It is a translation. Um, it was 10 units to the right, so we call that x plus 10 comma y. Okay. All right, let's look at the next page. Okay, this one we did back, the, it's the same thing except we did in a different order. First we did x equals 2, and then we did x equals negative 3. We found that it was a translation. It was 10 units again, but this time it was to the left. So it's x minus 10 comma y. Is everybody okay with these first two? You want me to go over anything again? Please let me know. You should have the correct answers down. Number 13. Through 18, we reflected over um, x equals negative 7 first, then over x equals 2. You had to read the directions carefully. Make sure you do that for the quiz review and the quiz that's coming up. We got a translation. It was 10 units to the right, x plus 10 comma y. Okay, now what? One of the questions that I think is the most important is kind of understanding what the formula is. If you're reflecting two lines, what do you do? Okay, if we're reflecting two lines, we take the second line we're reflecting, subtract it from the first, times it by two, and we know that's how many units we're going to move right or left. Okay. So we tried it where we had this problem. We said, okay, what are some possible answers we could get if we've got x equal four and we want it to move ten units to the right? Five, six. I have x equals 9. Does anybody have a different answer besides that? There is another answer. Yes, Tasia? I had, um, one and four. You had 1 and 4? Okay, so let's see if it works in our formula. Negative. negative 1 and 4. Okay, so we take the second, which is negative 1, minus 4, and we times it by 2. So we get... Can everybody see this on the board? So we get negative 5 times 2, which gives me negative 10. Okay, the only problem with it is we have to do 10 units to the right, and this will be 10 units to the left. Anybody else have a different one? There is a different answer. No? All right. So let me ask you this. We want the inside of this to be 5, correct? Okay. So there's no other answer where it could be 10 units to the right. What minus 4 times 2? Okay, I want you guys to think about it. If you did have that it went over x equals 9, that is correct. But there is another answer, but I want you guys to think about it. I'm not going to give you the answer. Okay. Let's look. Okay, let's look at the next one. This one, instead of translating right or left, we translated up or down. Um, we reflected over y equals 3 and y equals negative 2. And we found that it was a translation 10 units up. So we get x comma y plus 10. <coughs> The next one, we got translation 10 units down when we reflected it over first negative 2, then 3. And we got the same equation. It is the second minus the first times 2.
You guys can go ahead. If you don't have another packet, um, come pick one up. A lot of you picked it up on Friday, though, because we already finished with it. Again, if you don't, it's right here on my desk. That's what you should be doing for the rest of the hour. Um, that is going to be, you're going to have today to work on it, and tomorrow. It is due at the beginning of the hour on Wednesday. We're going to go over the answer on Wednesday, and then we're going to start the review. Any questions? Yes. All right, guys, you should be working on that next, working on that next.